Hi, this is Tim Catalano from Run the Edge, and in this quick tutorial video, I'm going to be showing you the new Level Up training system that Adam Goucher and I put together to help runners from every level. If you're a brand new runner that's just getting started and you want to run your first 5K, all the way up to people wanting to get faster at marathons, we have something for you. And for those of you who like to run half marathons and marathons, we're super excited that Kara Goucher got involved and helped us design and create all the workouts that went into those two plans. So let's get started and take a look at how this works. When you first open up the Level Up training system, you're going to see a JavaScript window asking you to put in your first name. So if you just go ahead and put in your first name and click Proceed, it'll ask you if you want to save. Now you're going to want to save so that it recognizes you when you come back and it keeps track of your progress. But for the purposes of this video, I'm not going to be saving. Now if you scroll down to the second page, the What's Included or Table of Contents page, you'll see that in this 13.1 program, it's full of great stuff like a Getting Started Guide, the Level Up training plans, level descriptions, a virtual coach, a cross training menu, a goal setting guide, a mental training guide, an avoiding injury blueprint, and these finisher medals which we'll talk about in just a few minutes. Now when you first open it up and you want to see how it works, click on the instructions link and it'll take you to a page that gives you all the details and everything you need to know about how the level up training plan works. But since you are watching this video, you can probably just skip that. But definitely read the Getting Started Guide, even if you're an experienced runner. So let's take a look at the plans. When you first see the Level Up Training Plans, you're going to notice that this is not a week-to-week -week training program, where it says week one do this, week two do that. Instead, this goes in a series of levels, so that you can pass the levels at any level you want. You could go at your own pace. Some runners might take one week to pass a level. Some runners might take three or four weeks to pass a level. No problem, either way. And the way you pass a level is by accumulating a certain number of points. So you can see that at level 7 here you need 28 points in order to pass this level. And the way you get those points is by completing workouts that have different levels of points on them depending on how long they are or how intense they are. And you get to do these workouts in any order you want. So let's just say it's day 1 and I decide I'm just going to go after the long run right away to try to get my 12 points. So I do the run. I finish it just fine, I click on this box, and you'll notice that it gives me 12 points down here in the total points window. Now at the ultimate levels like this one, you're going to see two key workouts. You have to finish both of those key workouts in order to get enough points to level up. In our premium plans, there's only one key workout. So now I have seven days to complete this level and get enough points, but I could do them in any order I want. So let's say on day two I decide I'm going to cross train a little bit. So I cross train, I get four more points. Day three, I'm like, yeah, I think I'm going to do another easy run over here. So I do that, and now I'm ready to go after the second key workout, a goal pace workout. I finish that, and look at what happens. I've already got 29 points, which is enough points to pass this level. But I still have two days left in the week. So maybe I take a day off, and on my last day, I decide to do this 35-minute run with strides. So I finish that up, I'm done with my week, and now... I've got 32 points, and you can see down here in the finisher's medal, 32 points is enough to get an epic finisher's medal. You collect that medal by clicking on the water bottle at the aid station. So if I click on that water bottle, up will pop my epic finisher's medal. You can see it says epic finisher, level 7, congratulations Tim, 32 points. If I click anywhere else on the training plan, it'll ask me if I want to save your medal. Definitely save your medal, and you'll see why in just a second. But I'm not going to save it. Now, after you've got your medal, you've finished the thing, it's time to go visit the virtual coach. So if you click here on the virtual coach, it'll take you to a tool that we designed that tries to help you decide if it's time to level up, if it's time to take a recovery week, it'll help keep you at the appropriate challenge level. So first thing it's going to do is ask you to do a body check, how you feeling physically, a mental check, how's your mind, are you getting burned out or what? And then it's going to ask you a series of questions, and based on your answers to those questions, you're either going to get a red light that says, hey, let's slow down, take a recovery week, or maybe repeat the level. It'll give you a yellow light that says proceed with caution, or it'll give you a green light that says, yeah, you're doing great, go right ahead and level up. So let's go back to the plans here for a second. Now let's say that you don't know what a goal pace workout is, or you don't know how to do strides. There's a couple ways you can figure that out. If you hover over this, uh, first square, it'll give you a little bit of an information on how to attack that level, but if you click the level descriptions, it takes you to the level description page, which gives you all the terminology 
about the different workouts and things that you'll need in order to complete those workouts. And if you click on this link here, it'll take you to our website, which has step-by-step, -step, super specific instructions on how to do each one of those workouts. So it gives you everything you need to do to complete those workouts. There's just not enough room in those boxes to put all those details. So here we are back at the plans, and let's say it's the next week and I decide I am super fired up and I just finish every single one of these levels. I get in my long run, do my run with strides, I do this AT run, miss that box. There you go, and I get to the aid station, I click on the water bottle, and check it out, I get a legendary finisher's medal. Congratulations, Tim, 37 points. Click anywhere on the program, save your medal, and at any time, you can go down here and click on this little icon, and it'll take you to the finisher medals page, which shows you all the medals that you've earned so far. So here you can see I've got my level 7 medal, and I've got my level 8 medal there. You can just keep on collecting medals as you go. So that's basically it. That's how the level up training system works. There's a bunch more goodies in there I don't have time to go over with you right now. But find the level up training plan that's right for you and have fun getting happy, healthy, and fit. More information can be found at runtheedge.com. Thanks a lot.